Hello my friends, this is Lionel Anderson here with you guys with a brand new YouTube bit shoot video. In today's video, I'm giving you guys a sneak peek at what my Patreon's all about, you know, because today's video I was gonna put on Patreon just for Patreon members. But once in a blue moon I like to throw what I do on Patreon on YouTube just to give you guys a little sneak peek. So if you enjoy the video and you want to see more videos like this, check me out on Patreon. The link is down below. You can even join for free. And once in a while, I'll put a completely free one out. And we have a tier that's only $1 a month and the Send to 5D class, Health class. And I even have a one week free trial of the Occult class, which gives you a sneak peek at all the classes. All right, my friends, link is down below if you're interested. Now, let's just get today's topic, okay? And that is the brutal truth. On the Great Awakening, okay? That's right, Doug. We got to talk about the Great Awakening, my friends, because, you know, there is some misconceptions there. And a lot of people uh, are very positive, which there's nothing wrong with being positive. But it might be a little bit of a psychological operation in a way, because as much as there is a bit of an awakening happening... Uh, it's not to the point a lot of people think it is. And I do believe that there has been a psychological operation or some kind of manipulation to make people think that everything's okay. There's a great awakening. Humanity's winning. Nothing to worry about. And I don't want to say we should worry or we should be in fear because that's not the point of this video. But I think we should be real about the real situation that humanity's facing. And that this great awakening that many believe is happening isn't to the scale they believe it's happening. Or isn't as big as they think it is. Okay? Now, are there lots of people waking up to who they truly are and starting to break free of the matrix? Yes, more so than before, for sure. But how many people is that really? It's not as much as you'd think it is. All right? A lot of people think they're awake, a lot of people think they're awakening, but they're not. And that's just the brutal truth of the situation we find ourselves in. Uh, because they are falling for every little psychological operation there is, and they still have no idea who they truly are. So we're going to talk about what it means to be awake in today's video, or awakening. Okay, and it's going to be interesting where this takes us, okay? So pretty much, as I said, a lot of people, uh, they believe they're awakening because they realize that there's something wrong happening in the world. They're realizing governments are corrupt and that there's an agenda to depopulate humanity. So they think because of this, I'm awakening, I'm awake, I'm this and that. Okay. That's not what awakening truly is. That might be the first step, the first phase. But if you just realize that things are corrupt and you don't go further, you're not awakening. I'm sorry. It's bloody obvious at this point. Bloody obvious that there's something wrong in the world. It's bloody obvious that there's corruption to the point People who are fast asleep know there's something wrong, okay? They tell us what's going on. It's just, it's right in your face. So to think that you're suddenly awakening and on this huge path and all that just because you've realized, eh, there's some corruption out there, I'm sorry, but you got so much further to go. Because a lot of these people who want to sit there and say, oh, I'm awake, this and that, they're still supporting government. That's right, a lot of these people... Still, Trump 2024, right? Still supporting the self-proclaimed father of the thing that they wanted you to get. Launch Operation Warp Speed on y'all. Still falling for all those psychological operations. And, you know, I see this every single day on my Facebook page. Uh, because I, I got a lot of followers on there. And I see what the majority of people are thinking these days. I still see... So many duped by NWO created religion, mainstream organized religion. They want to say they're awake and all that, but yet they they still are following the Demiurge and, and these uh, mainstream institutions that have enslaved humans for thousands of years. You see guys like Russell Brand out there, he just got baptized. 
Russell Brand, really? And you look at the comment section, people are so happy about this. Oh, praise Jesus, this and that. These people want to think they're awake and they're falling for a guy like Russell Brand who gets baptized into one of the most satanic religions, Catholics, Roman Catholic. Sorry, it's extremely satanic religion, and this guy is a fraud. The very next day after he announced he got baptized, he's wearing a Saturn shirt, okay? Saturn equals Satan equals Demiurge. This guy is not a Christian, my friends. But so many people are being duped. So many people. You got Candace Owens walking around saying she's going back to God, a.k.a. the Catholic Church. Meanwhile, she's in a Catholic Church with a checkerboard white and black floors, which is very Masonic. All these people going back to Catholic. Uh, religion that has enslaved humanity. They used to kill and torture people if you wouldn't convert to their dogma. That's right. I've been to the underground torture chambers in Prague. Okay? If you did not follow what they wanted you to believe, they would burn you alive. Okay? And people are going back to that thinking they're waking up. Oh, I've had a spiritual awakening. No, 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 no. You had a religious sleepening. Okay? So if you're still promoting government, promoting politics, falling for the politics, left versus right scam, you're not awakening. Sorry. If you're still falling for man-made religion, you're not awakening. I'm sorry. Yeah, sure, you figured out things aren't going good in the world and they might have uh, be trying to, you know, depopulate us. But it, like I said, it's bloody obvious at this point. It's nothing to be, oh, I'm awakening. It's, it's common sense. Everybody, even the brainwashed people realize that. Okay. So what is awakening then? Awakening is realizing the truth of who you truly are and the truth of this realm that we're living in. Okay? Even the word itself, awakening, what does that even mean? Okay? Nobody here is awake. I want to make that very clear. Nobody is awake who's here right now that you've met. It doesn't matter. Uh, the biggest gurus in the world, they're not awake yet. They are all awakening. Why? Because this reality we live in is a dream, okay? If you want to get real technical about it, it's a simulation, okay? People have uh, said it's kind of like a video game, kind of like a movie, but another way of putting it is we're within a dream, a simulated dream world, okay? So when you start to awaken, or you're awakening, that means you're starting to realize that none of this is real. This isn't real base reality because it's a simulation. You're starting to remember who you truly are, which is spirit. You're not this AI avatar that you are. You realize this is just a simulation. You realize that you yourself are a little part of that God consciousness. So you're starting to awaken to who you truly are. See, a lot of these people have no idea. They still believe that these physical bodies is who they are. They have no idea this is a simulation. They have no idea that these physical avatars are actually AI and that they're connected to AI. That They think that their thoughts are their own thoughts and all that. No, 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 no. You're still following an AI life program. You've been stuck in a reincarnation uh, soul trap, you could say. Okay? But once somebody starts to wake and they start realizing all this stuff, oh my goodness, this is a simulation. Oh my goodness, this really is just like a dream world, right? Well, what happens, my friends, when you realize you're dreaming within a dream? They call it lucid dreaming, right? Have you ever had that? You had a dream and you suddenly realize, oh my goodness, I'm in a dream? Then what? Then you can do whatever you want in the dream, right? Take control of your dream. Do whatever you want to do in the dream. You get some free will in what you want to do. Because if you don't realize you're dreaming in a dream, everything that happens to you is automatic. That's right. You have no control, right? It's the same in this reality. You might think you're in control of your life, but you're not. You got no free will if you do not know it's a dream. You are following out an AI life program. That's right, an AI life program. Because everything's been pre-planned. When you come here and you get reincarnated before, you plan out your life with the Demiurge and these fake entities. And it plans out a life of misery and torment for you to learn lessons, right? And unless you have 
a true awakening and bring more consciousness and realize what's happening to you, you it's all destiny at that point. And you're destined to be harvested and you're destined to be reincarnated if you don't figure it out. However, if you start awakening and realize while you're in this dream that, oh my goodness, this is just a dream, this is just a simulation, you tap into higher levels of consciousness and you could start doing whatever you want within the dream, just like a lucid dream, because you're starting to awaken from the dream. Well, what happens when you lucid dream? When you lucid dream, you eventually wake up soon after. So my friends, once you are awake and you've woken up, that's when the dream ends and you're not in this realm anymore. You're going to be gone. Whether you ended up having a physical death experience and you actually get to leave this realm and you don't get sucked in the reincarnation loop, or now they say there's a window of opportunity opening up now that this ascension cycle is uh, coming upon us, that you won't even have to have the death experience, but something's going to happen, whether it's a great solar flash or whatever, however it happens, you're going to be poofed out of this realm, edited out, thrown out of the matrix, and go back to base reality, wherever that is, okay? But then you will be awake. Because this dream will be over. Just like how when you go to sleep at night, you have a crazy dream, then you wake up, you're awake. You're awake from the dream. So this is the process that's playing out right now. So to awaken from the dream, to be in the process of awakening, you have to start realizing all these deeper concepts. Not just that the government's corrupt and that big firm is trying to poison you. That's bloody obvious that anybody, even people who are fast asleep, uh, can figure out, okay? And that's because they're making it bloody obvious at this point, okay? You have to be going into the deeper levels of realizing what this realm truly is. And that is an AI simulation. You need to tap into your higher sources of consciousness, okay? So how many people are doing that? How many people are on this path that I'm telling you about of this level of consciousness, of understanding what this realm truly is? I don't have an exact number, but if you look worldwide, the amount of people that are taking it this seriously, is it even a million people? I don't know. All I know is apparently there's 8 billion people on the planet, and I'd be surprised if less than 1% are reaching this level of knowledge. It's in even in those truth communities, so many people think they're so awake, but meanwhile they've fallen for every psychological operation. You know, it's funny, I, I just went to see the movie Civil War, okay? That Civil War movie that just came out. Crazy predictive programming that movie. I really recommend it. It's uh, showing you what they want to do. But pretty much they're showing the people who that they're it's civil war they're going against the president okay and the government powers removing them it's part of the plan so if you think that you're gonna oh joe biden and this and that and we're rising up against joe biden we need trump back in there and, and a lot of people want to go in there and they want to remove biden and this and that and then they're talking about you know uh this whole QAnon crap that so many people have fallen for oh the mass arrests are coming this is that this movie, this Hollywood movie, is showing you exactly that plan. But it's not because the people in the white hats are rising up. It's because it's part of the NWO agenda. They are doing the Great Reset. That means the government institutions are going to be reset as well. Then they're going to come in as the saviors. And it's probably going to be Donald Trump who's going to come in. Oh, yeah, Trump is back. But really, he's just there to introduce the new beast system. It's all a deception. It's all a trap. And it's all orchestrated by the powers that be. That's why they're showing you in the Hollywood created movies about governments falling and taking over the White House and all that. They want you to do that. They want civil war. This is part of the agenda. It's not QAnon and white hats and trust the plan and everything's going to be good. No, it's the NWO bringing chaos and they'll owe that. They'll be chaos out of order. They're going to deceive you with the heroes they give you. a.k.a. father of the thing they wanted you get, Mr. Trump, Zionist Israel supporting Trump, who does everything Israel wants him to do. And people actually think they're awake following somebody like that and following Q and all that? Give me a break. 
Research Operation Trust. Okay. Which is where QAnon originated from. Goes back to uh, the communists, Soviet Union. Operation Trust, look it up. That's where it came from. Trust the plan, Operation Trust. Where they made people think everything's okay and this and that and the white hats. It's all long plan. But of course people, they, they're not awakening. They just read something on Facebook. They want to believe a savior is coming to save them. Same with religion. They don't want to actually do anything. They just, oh Jesus is coming back. And they think they're awake. Uh-uh. Sorry. They're falling for an age-old tactic that's been used on humanity for thousands of years. Meanwhile, humans are still suffering enslavement thousands of years later because they can't wake up and figure out this is all part of the game that the dark forces are playing on us. It's all part of the game. Okay? So just because you're waking up to a bit of corruption doesn't mean anything because that's what they want this is part of the psychological operation to have you wake up a little bit to the government corruption just enough so that you feel like you need to overthrow the government just like they show in the civil war movie because they want the chaos and then it's easy because then they just throw in their savior he tells you what you want to hear comes in tricks you into the beast system and then it's too late by then reset happens boom you're reincarnated into the new simulation that's how it goes and so many people are stuck in that mindset still. The majority of the truth community are stuck in the mindset of needing a savior and not knowing that they are divine sovereign beings. Not knowing that this realm is in fact a simulation and that these bodies are AI and thoughts are hooked up to the AI and everything. They still believe in all this physical world. Well, guess what? They ain't getting out of the matrix. They are not waking up from the matrix. They're going to end up croaking and they're going to end up getting reincarnated and continue to be harvested in this realm. They're going to keep worshipping their satanic demiurge deities that they have been given to them through their religions. They are fast asleep still. And I'm sorry if this is triggering some people, but it needs to be said. Because I see this every day every day now the good news is there is more and more people who are waking up to the things we were talking about in this video more than ever before as well but remember the numbers are small probably under a million people I'd be surprised if it was two million worldwide so there's work to do there is work to do okay uh, and don't lose hope because as long as you're on the path of awakening you will go down a more positive timeline and you will end up getting out of this mess in this cycle, yes. But I don't think this entire simulation is on the verge of being shut down completely. Time will tell. Maybe things will change. Maybe a big massive uh, sun event will happen. And more people start seeing beyond the veil. I don't know. But at this rate, I think there's going to be a few more cycles before we could shut down this Demiurge system once and for all. But don't get discouraged. Just do your best to spread your truth now. And to put yourself on that timeline where at least you could wake up out of this dream. Okay? But for those of us who came here on a volunteer mission to help the humans, we got our work cut out for us. Okay? Don't fall into these new age uh, deceptions that, oh, the white hats, everything's in, under control, this and that. There's a lot of work to do and their agenda is progressing at a fast rate. And humans are not near the point they need to be. Okay? The majority. So, like I said, keep speaking your truths. Keep expanding your mind, as the shirt says, expanding your mind, expanding your consciousness. Keep healing yourself, doing your shadow work, and keep detaching from this physical avatar, in a sense. Still stay grounded, but you need to really realize and separate yourself from this illusion, which we call the dream, the simulation, physical reality. Get in touch with who you are. Go within. Realize your spirit. Reach Christ consciousness. Okay? Nothing to do with worshipping some guy named Jesus. It's a consciousness that's within us all. That's why it even says the kingdom of God is within. You need to come to those realizations. 
Because as long as you're externalizing your who you are, you're going to stay in this realm. Because you do not know yourself. Know thyself, my friends. That's it for today's uh, sneak peek. Okay, And like I said, I go over these topics and I have these rants all the time on Patreon. So if you want to hear more, you join now. You have access to like probably over 100 to 200 videos of me talking like this. Okay, uh, Depending on which level you sign up at. But even at the lowest levels, you'll have access to many videos of me and my rants and going on. So if you enjoy hearing what I have to say, great. And hey... End of the day, each to their own. For those people who don't agree with me, that's okay. We cannot fall for this divine conquer agenda. I'll still love you as long as you could still love me. We could uh, respect each other, okay? We don't have to agree with everything we say. You don't have to. But uh, as long as you don't uh, come to my page and insult me uh, for what I my beliefs are, I will never come to your page and insult you or anything. It shouldn't be like that. We should all be able to share our beliefs and ideas. And for those people who don't like what I'm saying, instead of coming here insulting me, just unsubscribe or unfollow me or just move along. You know, people are so rude on social media, I swear. Uh, every day, so much hate comments. I don't care, though. That's their problem. But uh, that's what I mean, you know. People should be able to express their beliefs. And you, like you said, you'll never see me going to anybody's page and telling them, I think you're wrong and you're brainwashed, you're an idiot, you're going to hell. You'll never see me do that. I don't do that. <sighs> How many people do that to me every day? Too many to count. It's funny, oftentimes these religious people, they're the most ignorant and rude and got so much hate in their heart because it's usually only the religious folks coming onto my page giving me hate telling me I'm going to hell, I'm evil. You're evil, you're going to hell. It's just like, whoa, I've done nothing but be respectful to you. Just because you dis uh, just because you don't agree with that I say I'm evil, I'm going to hell. Whoa. And you claim to be a follower of Christ? <laughs> That's funny. It's more so a follower of the satanic demiurge himself, which 95% of this world are, unfortunately. And it shows, right? Because they still serve the ego. So don't do that, my friends. Don't serve the ego. It's hard to move on past all that programming. It is. Nobody's perfect, and it is a process. But do your best not to fall into those traps. Don't fall into divide and conquer. We just got to do the best we can every day, my friends. It's a very hard task, but once you realize what this realm really is, and realize it for the dream it's worth, it's a lot easier to start letting go. So, I got a great video I'm just about to do now on Patreon on the Ascent to 5D class. And we're going to be talking about similar topics. So, hope to see you guys there. Links are down below. Lionel, signing off. Love you guys.